Welcome to a very special Top 10, Nathan. What are we doing today? We're doing the most fun cars that we have driven in 2016. The most fun? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the most fun. All right, let's get right to it. Number 10 is my, well, one of my favorites, actually. This was really a weird car because it was the Nissan Winter Warrior, and that was a treaded either Pathfinder or Rogue. So basically, Nissan stuck treads on these two vehicles. Uh, took them up to a local ski area and let us go wild. Yeah, we both got a chance to do that and that was a lot of fun. And at the same time, we learned some valuable lessons about driving a CVT with tank treads in the snow. Yeah, they overheat. A little bit. Now, speaking of snowstorms, this vehicle I would not want to drive in a snowstorm. And you did. And I did. <laughs> it's the Chevy Camaro, both the SS and the V6. I really liked both of them, especially with the manual transmission. Great time driving both cars. Definitely superior to other competitors. Yeah, Chevy did this thing where journalists got to drive it across all of America, and for some reason, we thought it'd be a good idea for you to drive it in Montana. What the hell were we thinking? I don't know, and it was during the snow season too. But nonetheless, it was a lot of fun to drive. Once again, I've driven both the V6 and the SS with the big V8. Great cars. Now, my number eight choice, or our number eight choice, is the Bentley Bentayga. And the cool part about this one was they actually let us drive it in the California sand dunes. And Nathan, we filled it up with sand. I mean, we filled that, that car was one big litter box when we were done with it. And I kept thinking to myself, like, you know, 25 years from now, when somebody's uh, restoring this thing and they take a panel off and like 20 pounds of sand comes <laughs> out, they'll be like, what? That's how they weigh it down for ballast, just in case Andre drives it. All right, let's move on to uh, number seven, which uh, I got a chance to drive. And this was also in the desert, but not off-road. And that was the Hyundai Elantra Sport. I know it sounds strange that I'd mention that vehicle, but that two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with the manual transmission and the beefed up suspension was a dream to drive. It was one of the best front wheel drive cars I've driven in recent memory. I'm gonna put you on the spot. You also drove the Civic with the Sport package. Which one was better? The Hyundai. The Hyundai really? was better. Yeah, you got more for your money and you got 200 horsepower, over 200 horsepower. And that is more than the Civic, and I did the Civic hatchback. I haven't driven the SI yet. So Mark Allen, who has become a friend of ours, he's a lead chief designer for Jeep, did one of his favorite cars this year at the annual Moab Easter Jeep Safari, and I got to drive it. It's the FC, or forward control Jeep. Now, this is a classic vehicle. Mm -hmm. Well, this one wasn't classic. Basically, they built it on an old uh, right-hand drive TJ. But you sit in front of the front wheels, and you feel like you're going to fall over, you know, off the cliff. But it's so cool to drive. So it's a little pickup truck with the control in the front, um, they built it just for, I think, you know, and grins. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was just a hoot to drive around Moab. I love the fact that the only safety feature is the fact that your face is a crumple zone. And your feet. And your feet. Because yeah. other you get hit, you're done. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something that uh, I had a really good time driving. It's the Mazda MX-5, the Miata. And I got to drive it in the snow on an ice track with ice tires. Snow and ice tires. And it was a hoot. It's already a fast car. It's already a fun car. Now imagine putting that on ice. Were you cold? <laughs> I was freezing. Yeah, you look cold. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was really, really cold. But it was a lot of fun to drive and the fact that we were allowed to do it kind of gave credence to the fact that the car had really good balance despite the fact that it was definitely doing donuts and slides and everything else. But you, what a fun time. You tore up that ice, man. You yeah. were like, you yeah. know, like a burnout. Well, if, if there is such a thing on ice, but <laughs> that's what you were doing. All right, my next one, our number four, is the Polaris Slingshot. Now, our race car driver, Paul, hated this with a burning passion. He thought it was absolutely a hot mess on the track. But I agree with him. On the road, it's really fun. It's like driving the Batmobile. All right, let's move on to something that we all agree is a pretty fascinating car, and that's the Acura NSX. Yes, I got a chance to drive it briefly, very, very briefly, but it was long enough for me to freak out and think about the fact that this is basically a budget McLaren P1 in terms of its overall setup. And it was fast and it was high tech and it was really, really cool. And I didn't have any reporter from a uh, local rag listening to music while I was trying to drive it around a track. 
I got to drive it as well, and my experience was different, but you're right, it is a budget uh, hybrid supercar, right? My number two uh, was uh, probably the funnest vehicle I drove all year, and that was the uh, G65 G-Wagon, which is basically, uh, well, a 12-cylinder German military vehicle that was meant to house what a 70 horsepower diesel it's absolutely bat you know what crazy and oh my gosh to drive it on the road is like driving a barn door zero to 60 under five seconds and to take it off road well that was naughty because Mercedes you weren't supposed no, to take it no, off road but I did yeah he was channeling me that time I love <laughs> it I was so proud of him um, my number one is the BMW M2 <laughs> And I'm sure you agree. You're Paul. Yeah, I, I love that car. It is, you know what it did? It, oh, let me tell you what it did. It reminded me how much fun driving can be. I mean, it brought me up to that level. There's not a lot of high tech on it, thank God. It had a manual transmission, front engine, rear drive, great power, wonderful handling, great balance, and it was fun. Just plain old simple fun every time I started the engine. Yeah, you know, I love that car. It was really good, but. We always do a bonus, and I would take my bonus car over that car, which is the oh, yeah. C63 AMG. <laughs> Just because it's got a lot more power, it's got a lot more road presence, it's got a lot more, well, everything basically. Uh, poise, composure, it's certainly not as balanced, it's certainly probably not as, as, as uh, real and authentic, but my gosh, was that a fun German muscle car to drive. You're wearing the right sweater right now to drive that car, by the way, just so you know. I mean, it definitely uh, looks like it would work out. Uh, my bonus is actually a funny one, given the irony of it, and that is the Subaru WRX STI. And we don't get Subarus to drive, but we, I did, snuck, it. we snuck it in and had a chance to drive it. I love the car. I just freaking love it. You know what? I like it a lot more than the WRX because it sounds like the old Subarus because of the unequal length headers. And I just love the sound, I love driving it, it's a great little car. Yeah, I think that's going to be a collectible classic at some point, because Subaru seems to be going the way of CVTs, even in the WRX. I know. And I don't know how you put a CVT into something that visceral, that real. Well, I guess we'll find out in the future. So thank you so much for joining us, this was a lot of fun, and um, even though we do disagree on things, you have to agree. Roman and that Mercedes-Benz and that sweater, I think they go together nicely. Well, what about you and that jacket? Well, yeah, there's a BMW M2 all over it. There's a BMW. I would drive a BMW with this. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Dude, that to me says, like, uh, Fiat 500L. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful new year. Happy holidays and all that other stuff. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan. And Roman saying, see you next time. Ciao. Bye.